Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to implement scale out deployment of reporting services for 2022. So in this demo, uh, I am going to use node 1 and node 2, uh, which are all uh, the part of the ABC domain. So first we need to install our reporting services in node 1 and node 2. After that we need to configure always on availability groups and listener. So we once it is done. Uh, we need to configure uh, reporting services in node 1 by giving the listener name at the time of server so, so i will show that uh, that part in the video as well so once it is done we need to back up and restore that uh, reporting database and reporting server temp db database from node 1 to a node 1 we need to make the part of availability groups and everything once it is done we need to come to the node 2 and we need to add uh, we need to uh, add that uh, reporting services to the existing reporting uh, server database once it is done we need to uh, test the services with the listener name so that uh, everything is working fine or not so let's jump into the practical part so here i am having three nodes one is active directory node 1 and node 2 so in this mission reporting services all uh, sorry uh, sql server has been installed in the node 1 and node 2 is installed in the node 2 so i just have connected and everything if you see here and uh, i will show the cluster as well so the cluster is also there and we are having two nodes node 1 and node 2 okay so here come to here and uh, here, now we need to create one availability group right click on that uh, we need we can create like test click ok yeah it is done so now we need to create a listener group here so listen uh, listener 1 static ip 1433 click add here i need to type 10.0.0.78 dot .0 sorry dot i forgot it click ok ok yeah so it is done refresh it so listen listen one is configured so now just come down here uh, try to install with run as admission reporting services in node one click on this here click the developer edition next click the accept next next install do the same in node 2 next 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 finish install so it is done so uh and then no go just we will keep this this aside come come to node one and node two installation has been completed click on the report server here click uh node one yeah node one gonna click here here so here you can type uh, use other account so to avoid all the issues i'm using uh, uh, windows administrator which is domain user click apply so it is done so come here web view services url so keep like this so click apply so here you need to click the database so click change settings here choose a new reporting server from node 2 you need to select this here click next uh, here you need to type the listener name so listen one click test connection yeah connection is succeeded click next 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 finish so once it is done 
so report database we're going to is create in the primary node see database is done yeah it was done click finish okay come to web url the portal url yeah click apply yeah this was done now go back to the ssms here uh, check this it is in full recovery mode or not click here uh, it is full recovery mode only so if it is not full recovery mode so come here type uh, set the full click apply here take the backup report uh, report server dot BAK click apply click OK and uh, come to here take the log backup as well for the same click OK so now do the same thing reporting services R report tempdb dot pak click ok now take the log backup yeah it was done now so this one is group like so using this query you can add no two replicas click ok this was done click refresh here no two clear here connect yeah it was it uh, just come down and refresh Oh, I got this error so no problem so so what I am doing here is I am going to create a come here drop the database Now let's add replica node 2. Come to synchronize next. Automatic seeding. Click next. Finish. Yeah, this was done. So now. So the database are the listener, we need to create listener. Listen. On for double three. Here I need to create a, just go to DC. DNS so now DNS already clear come to here come to node 1 yeah now 
10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 79 click ok I click ok yeah so this is not yet listener so we can drop it so so i need to create with the listener name okay so come down not to add listener listener one listen one port number one four double three this is static ip click add ip 10 dot zero dot zero dot zero dot seventy nine click ok ok that this is was done so now everything is good so we have uh, backup already store is not required why because uh, we have done with the automatic seeding why because the databases were very very small in this issue now what we will do let's say uh, go to node one so this was done okay now go to node 2 click on configure server connect node 1 here type avc slash Yeah, it was done. Click databases. Here, come to web portal URL. Click apply here before configuring database. Yeah, click database. Change database here. Now choose as we need to select this option. Click next here server name which one we need to join the data listen one click test connection done click next so report server database here it is a report server we need to sign that to that okay report server this is native mode only click next so over service credentials only next next finish it means we have added the node 2 reporting server to the node 1 so click finish so our job was done now come to node 1 now come to open the master click on scale out deployment here you will see the node one waiting to join node two. Click add server. Okay, it was done. So we have implemented SSR out scale out deployment successfully. Click exit. Now open your browser. Here. click connect and come to web service URL here click on that so it will get our type browser administrator on password this one and if you go to web portal URL this one Yeah, we are able to dot, but we want to access through listener. 
so right what we can do here you can listen listener listen one this is the listener name right so now copy the uh, just select that and press enter type administrator to the see we are accessing we are accessing the reporting services with listener name let's do the same whether we are access, able to access all the same or not from node 2 see we are able to access we are able to access uh, not this one we are able to access the uh, reporting service through listener name from node 2 so let's create one folder as well test folder see we have successfully created this one so it means we have implemented for example if node 1 got shut down or if anything happens node 1 the all from database that groups or will fail out to node 2 and the listener will point it to that so, but still we are able to view other reporting services so what is happening in the back end doesn't know to the end customer that will be known what is happen only to the dbs so this is how you need to uh, configure scale out deployment so the only thing is uh, just configure the always on with listener so that will so uh, first i have created empty always on group so there i have faced some issues through listener name and everything so that made the video very longer but i would recommend you to configure always on groups and everything on listener and then you go for the configuration of reporting services so i hope uh, you may like this video thank you please share and subscribe so it's just like a boost to me to do more videos in simplest way thank you bye